Alrighty, hello everyone. Um, welcome to the break. Um, sorry, my Facebook is just blowing up because, as I'm sure many of you know, today was restock day at uh, Target, and I got a lot. I got a lot of products. Um, uh, online that is restock day online. Um, so I got a lot of product, and um. If you uh, know me, then you know that I um, uh, own a group. And I will show you guys that group here in a second. Where I help people get cards. So yeah, it's noon on Tuesday uh, when this break is supposed to take off. This break is for uh, Playoff Hanger. Uh, three Prism Draft Picks Packs. Two Playoff uh, Blasters. One Contenders Blaster. And two Prism um, Blasters. What's up, Chuck? Welcome. I saw, obviously, you got teams in this break. Um, I have a break ending today. So those of you that um, <clears throat> that are new with me, what I do is if you are in my break, uh, so typically I do two breaks a week, and I try to have them back-to-back -back days for this reason um, that I'm up about to say. Um, because, well, first of all, it just makes it easier on myself. And second of all, you know, if you were to get into both breaks, uh, then I will combine shipping for both of them. So if you were to win any teams for this upcoming break, um, send me a message on eBay or on Facebook. Um, I will combine shipping. Uh, wait to pay until I send you an updated invoice. Um, so yeah, that's my incentive, sort of my incentive for... Uh, doing back-to-back -back breaks. I would hold on to your cards for as long as you want. I know some people like that because um, then they only have to pay shipping once. But um, but I I just have a lot going on, especially right now. Like, I'm moving. My girlfriend and I are moving into a house. So I don't want to damage or lose your cards. So that's why I like getting just shipping them right away. So... Uh, <laughs> USPS loves all my uh, first class packages all my first class packages so anyways uh, it's noon right now um, let me just pull up this video on my laptop So I will first go over the rules of the break, um, and then i like to say a little bit about me, and then I will get started with the break. So obviously I'm live here on Facebook. Last break, I had someone um, confused uh, why I wasn't live on YouTube, and so I will be putting this replay up on YouTube. Um, Uh, yeah, all right, there we go. Video is up. All right, so, uh, rules of this break. Uh, any college cards, they will go to their um, current team. So, obviously, Trevor Lawrence will go to Jags. Mac Jones will go to Patriots. So, whatever team they're on, uh, they'll go to their current team. If they aren't on a team, I send them to whoever they got drafted by. So, this is for vets, like um, Drew Brees. He got drafted by the Chargers, so I sent him to the Chargers. Uh, I do that because there's a lot of guys like Frank Gore, for example, who's been on just about every single team you can imagine. So instead of sending him, I don't know, to the, his best team or whatever team he was last on, I just send them to whoever they got drafted by just because it's draft picks. Pretty simple. Um, if there's any guys in college, um, in the college that haven't been on any team, um, or that aren't on a, on a team and that weren't drafted by anyone, then 
I send them to whoever they were last with. So, like, Jamie Newman will go to the Eagles because he was with the Eagles for, like, a week. Uh, I don't even think he's in the NFL right now. I think he's in the U.S. AFL, whatever it's called. <laughs> so, but he'll, he'll still go to the Eagles because he was last with the Eagles. Just an example. Um, there's a few guys like Rakeem Boyd, not... Again, not on the NFL, but he was with the Lions, so I sent him to the Lions. So every single card that's open will go to someone. All right, so uh, if there's any Panini points, I will random.org it. If there's any random, um, or I will random.org it, so I will take you guys' list, uh, team list, and I will just do a randomizer. Someone will win them. I do that uh, at random because just like autos, you never know what's going to come out. It could be a... Bill's uh, autograph, and it's the same odds of being a Bill's autograph as it could be a Patriots autograph. So just randomize the points if it does happen. Knock on wood, hopefully not. This isn't a wood table, but let's pretend it is. Um, and if there's any multi-team cards, I do a dice roller. I'll do that at the end. You guys will see. So it'll go to someone. Um... I think that's it uh, for rules. If I miss anything, I will uh, mention it. As far as hits go, obviously, rookies will all get sleeved. Hits will get top-loaded. Rookie parallels will get top-loaded. I love inserts and rookie uh, parallels. So inserts will get sleeved. Um, rookie parallels, all rookie parallels will get top-loaded. And all big names will get top-loaded, too. Um, <clears throat> and just so you guys know... Uh, I well I'm with my girlfriend right now for the next week um and then we'll be moving back into my apartment for temporarily and then we'll be moving into my house that is getting done so um I'm using her lovely mat here but um on the right pile the far right pile it'll these cards will all get shipped base the, there'll be two middle piles one will be thick one will be thin they'll be shipped uh sleeved and the far left pile will be shipped top loaded. I do have some uh, card stands, but they are in the process of being moved, so I don't know where they're at for right now. Uh, so I probably won't get those for another week or so. So, um, anyways, that's the rules. Um, a little bit about me. I'm 23 years old, just graduated from college, this college right here. Um, I'm a PE teacher. I am from Green Bay, Wisconsin, so I'm a huge Packer fan. Uh, currently now living with my girlfriend in Madison or around the Madison area. Um, if you don't know where that's at, it's about two hours away from Green Bay. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a huge Packer fan. Uh, doing a lot right now. Sorry, just moving. Doing a lot right now. Um, moving, so... Uh, I like to tell people that if there's any money that I make in my breaks, it's greatly appreciated. Um, it goes back to buying more supplies because, as you see, it's all brand new supplies that I use. Brand new. Um, and then it, it also helps to buy more product in the short run. So, obviously, like, I've got probably 20, 30 of these left. Um, these are all sold out on Target, by the way. Um, I'm down to eight of these. So this, no, six. So the, including these two, I'm down six. After this break, I'll have four left. So I, uh, in the short run, it goes to buying products like uh, Chuck, if you're still here, if you're paying attention, <laughs> or if you're listening. I spent $4,000 on Prism. So I've got Prism for days to break. I'll be breaking Prism a lot. Um, it goes to buying just more products. I like to get a variety of products. Uh, I had someone... Um, in my uh, one of my f previous breaks, uh, actually just recently, say um, to avoid the cheaper stuff, and I I like to mix it in. I like to uh, mix it in with all sorts of product. That way, you know, if I'm just doing prism heavy breaks, um, it could get first of all boring, in my opinion. But also, it's all random. Uh, I the way that I see it is all random. Like you have just as good of you have the same amount of odds to get a hit out of playbook as you do prism draft picks, as you do contenders, as you do prism. 
Um, and I like to also spread it out too because there's a lot of variety. Like last break I did, I literally literally did the same exact break. And out of probably one of the worst products that you would think of, of this break, this hanger, that was probably one of the best hits. I got an auto out of a hanger. I didn't even know that you could get autos out of hangers. So uh, that's just an example. You know, I like to have a lot of randomness and also... Um, spreads out prism so it, prism doesn't just last one or two breaks um so yeah uh but i mean sometimes i do like to do all prism breaks uh what i hope for is eventually i will be able to do all prism breaks because like what i said i spent so far i spent about four thousand dollars on prism and um i know that's the hottest product so um i want it to last as long as i could and eventually if i don't have as uh lower end stuff then out that means it'll be all my more of my breaks will be filled with prism so i've actually i'm actually running down with uh, running down with these um <clears throat> so so yeah uh, if there's any money i make it in the short run it goes long story short it goes to help funding uh future breaks um like i'll spend a few hundred dollars on card supplies shipping supplies I even factor in my tape, believe it or not, uh, and I use about thirty dollars worth of thirty to forty dollars worth of supplies. Um, I factor in tape because I don't, I literally don't use the tape for anything else besides breaks. So I, I take in consideration of the average cost of all breaks, um, the supplies, plus the product, and uh, I didn't show the team list yet. So here's the team list. So I add up what all the teams sell for. Uh, this is what they all sold for. Uh, this is not what I'm getting, um, but three ninety seven. So if you do the math, I'd probably have about three hundred dollars worth of retail uh, that I paid out of my pocket. Um, plus, you know, the thirty dollars worth of supplies, like three thirty. Take thirteen percent out of this, and that's what I'm getting. So I'm not losing any money. Um, I just add up what all the teams sell for to make sure that I'm not losing any money, and that's all I really care about. Um, and then I will run the break. So I've done many breaks where I've basically done it at cost. And the reason why um, I... Okay, so in my description, I have it written that... I answer this because I get a lot of questions. I have it written that if I don't make my money back, at least on my break, then I will cancel it. I've only had to do that twice out of about 200 breaks. Um... <clears throat> but you know, as I said, I I put in two fifty worth of product, thirty dollars worth of supplies, so that's about or two fifty to three hundred worth of retail. It depends with tax, without tax. So let's say about two seventy five plus thirty dollars worth of product, so that's about three hundred bucks, three three ten. Um, as long as I'm getting three ten back at least, that's all I care about. Because if I start losing money, then I, I'm first of all gonna go bankrupt. Second of all, I do about six hours worth of work doing the listings, doing the break, sorting and shipping the cards. It takes a lot. So, um, and then there's a, a lot of other reasons. Like, the money gets sent to my taxes because uh, I do, do well over 40000 a year. Or last year was 20000 So it gets all sent to my taxes. So um, it just would be a headache. Both the times that I had to cancel it, I would have lost 200 bucks, and it's just a headache and not really worth losing that much money um, for my end. But, I mean, as long as I break even, I think it breaks more for you guys than they are for me. So as long as you guys put in the support, then break will go on. But I've only had to do that twice, so if it ever happens, that's the reason. Hopefully it never does. But here's the team names again. Um, so... Uh, look for your team. Like what I said, I have a break ending tomorrow. So if you get teams, let me know. I think today, like a side note, today I, with Target's online drops, I probably I made a lot of orders. I think I probably ordered about five, $600 worth of stuff. Um, oh, yeah, I was going to show you guys real quick. Um, just a few more things about me, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll break, I promise. Uh, this is the group I made. This is the group I was talking about. Trading card, restock information, Target, Walmart, Target, Barnes, Meyer, etc. So it's just a group. Recently, it's been a lot of uh, Target links that I've been posting. Um, but it's a post or it's a group where you can share information with each other, uh, restock information, um, 
I don't know why it's not showing anymore. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a group where you can share restock information, links, online links. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. Let's find a restocks, a store. So here we go. Uh, Walmart and Lakeland stock this morning, wherever Lakeland is. Um, just to help you guys share with people around you, maybe meet new people, uh, to help each other get, uh, cards. So, um, it's just a group I made. It's actually picked off quite a bit. I made it a year ago. Join it if you would like. Uh, one last thing about me. Um, oh yeah. If there's truly any money I make, I like to share it out, share it, um, show off. But I am a Packer season ticket holder, so I'm 23 years old. My grandpa just transferred his season tickets into my name. Uh, 16.26 is what the cost of the tickets are per year for six games, six home games, and two preseason. There's two packages. I have the better package where you get six games instead of two, so I get six games in a preseason. Um, that's how much I'm paying per year, so that's where all my fun money goes to. And plus, I owe my grandpa, well, I owed him 4200 Now I, I paid him half of that, so I own, I own $2,100 because it actually costs $2,100 just to put the tickets into your name. So it's not cheap. Um, <laughs> so a lot, uh, if there's truly any money I'm making, it's going to help me out with my season tickets and just pay my grandpa back. Um, super generous of him to transfer them into my name because if you don't know, the waiting list to get them is 100 plus years long and I wouldn't get mine until I'm about 70 because I was put on right when I was born. But um, I have them now. So probably the Packers youngest season ticket holder. Um, super blessed f with that. I'm a huge Packer fan. I was named after Brett Favre. So who's got the Packers? I think I saw um, Mitchell. Mitchell has the Packers. So good luck with the Packers. I sometimes take the Packers in my breaks. I think breaks are an awesome deal, which is why you're probably in them. You're paying a fraction of the cost uh, for the specific team that you care about. And then, and then um, uh, I do all the work of sorting and shipping the cards. So I think it's a wonder. I think breaks are wonderful, which is obviously why you're in it. Um, you know, you're paying for the lower end teams. You're paying like ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty bucks for the higher end teams. You're paying thirty plus forty, fifty. Um, so uh, yeah, you're paying a fraction of the cost. For literally the same results, cards are going to be the same whether you buy uh, the packs yourself or not. It's just you're pulling in with a few other people who have the same idea as you to get some sweet cards for hopefully cheap. But I hope everyone in my breaks get uh, good hits, but that's not always the reality. Sometimes it's the same person taken over like last break pittsburgh they they got all the good hits so we'll see uh what we get today all right here we go uh prism draft picks i'll start off with this first um and then work my way up with the hanger <clears throat> so these are probably the lesser end stuff that i have um after I, actually after i get rid of these i'll be doing chronicles draft pick packs I still have a lot of those. I got a lot of these. Um, they're, they're not terrible. Um, I have a bunch of regular prism packs too. I won't be putting those in for a while. But you can get autos out of these. You can't get autos out of prism too. So that's another thing that I like about this. Is I've got a lot of autos out of these prism draft picks packs. It might not be the best, but it's a super... Oh, and here we go. I think we, speaking of that, we have an auto. Yep. <laughs> wow, look, look at that. First pack. I think that's an auto. So I'm setting it down. I'll reveal that last after I do the red, white, and blue packs. Cam Newton, Todd Gurley, Terry McLaurin. Uh, so Cam will go to Carolina. Matt Ryan, Gardner Minshew, Daniel Jones, insert so he'll get sleeved. Justin Fields, green. So like even this, not the 
I mean, not the highest value, but nice hit for uh, Chicago. I mean, it's an insert. So inserts are a super short print. Rashad Bateman, Sage Charette, Avon Holland, Jamie Newman, and Trey Sermon. So that's a nice hit for uh, Chicago. I mean, I, like what I said, I know it's not probably a $100 card, but that's nice for the PC all day. Alvin Kamara, David Johnson, Chase Claypool, Jared Goff. Oh, another auto? All right. Aaron Robinson. There we go. Two autos. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even think that that was going to be an auto. Uh, Antonio Gibson, Terrence Marshall Jr., rookie parallel, so we'll top load him. Tylen Wallace. Jamar Chase, we'll top load him. Carlos Basham Jr., Jamie Newman, and Joseph Asai. I'm going to make sure that Aaron Robinson here is on a team, or he was on a team. Otherwise, I've only had to do another uh, twice. Once out of basketball, once out of here. Um, I'll random him off. Aaron Robinson. Yep, yeah, he's on the Giants. So, um, Giants got a hit. Nice. That's going to Chris. I know Chris. He Giants is his team, I think. He's taken the Giants in just about every one of my breaks recently. It's a nice auto there, Chris. You can't get autos out of Prism. Out of regular Prism. So I know that this, uh, like what I said, this just proved my point. And Playbook. Playbook, I got an auto. Um, nice. You cannot get autos out of Prism. I'll say it again. So as much crap as um, Prism uh, draft picks gets. That's that's my reasoning. <laughs> you know. Justin Herbert, Cam Akers, Miles Garrett, Will Fuller, Trey McKitty. Oh, he's probably the big... I mean, I don't... I'm going to have to look him up see what team he's on. I, but I know he's... I know he's a bigger name. Probably one of the bigger names I got out of a college... Uh, this college draft picks. Uh, Miles Garrett, Kylan Hill going to my Packers. Nice. Hamlin Carter Shaw Jr., Trevor Lawrence will top on him. Just Fields, also him. Kyle Pitts and Devonta Smith. Trey McKitty. Go look him up quick, too. And he is on the Chargers. Chargers, nice. Who's got the Chargers? Don M. Don M. Nice hit for the Chargers. All right, moving on to these red, white, and blues. And these also, super short print. These are probably the shortest print of Prism Draft Picks because um, you're only getting one or two rookies. Uh, I'll top load the rookies, obviously. But you're only getting one or two rookies um, per per pack. Most of them are one. So super short print. Uh, I've been just busting through these, doing five to three packs a break. And I've only got one other auto recently. So two autos in the same break, that's amazing. Um, but we have been getting some awesome names for these red, white, and blues, like a lot of Jamar Chases. I think we got three Jamar Chases so far and two Justin Fields. So we'll see if we get another Justin Fields, complete the third Justin Fields, or we get a bigger name. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, Tyson Campbell, and Terrence Marshall Jr. Top of all rookie parallels, like what I said. Debo. Miles Sanders and Travis Etienne going to Jags. Like what I said, most of them are one odd or one rookie per per red, white, and blue. James Conner, this one's two. Tyler Vons and Quiddy Pay. That's going to Indianapolis. It's going to Chuck. Chuck's team. Alright, playbook hanger. Last time I like what I said, last time I did the same exact break. Didn't even realize it, but you can get an auto out of these. As much as much smack talk that these get, I don't see why, because 
Prism is awesome. Love Prism. There's a reason why I bought so much of it, but you can't get autos out of these. Or out of those. Not retail. Not this year. Not even numbered cards. And you could get numbered cards out of these. So you, it's all it's all random. It's all different odds. Just I like I like the variety for myself. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Randall Cobb, Antonio Brown, Patrick, Hayden Hurst, Kenny Galladay, Dak Prescott, Damian Harris, Aaron Rodgers, The Goat, Jamie New Jamie Swenson, not Jamie Newman, Jamie Swenson, uh, David Montgomery, Will Fuller, TJ Hawkinson, Tom Brady, DJ Chark, Rookie Parallel, Breven Jordan, nice, going to Houston, even those. Any rookie parallel you can get. It's a hit. Uh, Antonio Gibson. Insert. These are the inserts. Rashad Bateman. Trey Sermon. Miles Sanders. Antonio Gibson. Again, I think. Ian Book. Uh, quarterback. So, tap on him. I now... Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah. The rest will all have NFL logos, so... Demetric Felton, Eric Stokes, Trey McKitty. So, yeah, like what I said, the, probably one of the bigger names out of present draft picks, autos, because he actually is in other product. <laughs> like, some of these other autos that I'm getting out of present draft picks, sometimes they aren't in other product, even though they're on, on the team. They're just... So, he's in other product. I know that. Ramon... Ramondre Stevenson, uh, Justin Herbert, Jay Herbs, Zeke, Jacob Harris, Quincy Roche, Roach, and Greg Rasu. All right. Um, oh, yeah. It's like, what? why did it feel so short? I'll do this contenders uh, blaster next. These are now out of stock on Target. I assume eventually they'll probably go back in stock, maybe. But sometimes, you know, I that's why I order as much as I can, too, and why I buy as much as I can. Not just Prism, but... Because um, once when it's gone, it's gone. Like, Playoff, that is... That's actually Walmart only, so... Playoff is actually... It's underrated, and it's very rare. Um... So, uh, I, I like to, or like what I was saying, buy as much as you can. That's my suggestion to you. If you can, buy as much as you can. Because um, once when it's gone, it's gone. Whether you hold on to it, keep it, or... I don't think that you'll ever lose money on sealed product either. So, um, if you... That's another thing, like, another reason why I buy it a, a lot, because... I know if I can't do anything with it, I'm not going to lose money. I can make my money back. But these, you know, these are uh, out of stock on Target. I'm sure that you can find them some at some Walmarts and some Targets still in, in store. But for online-wise, it's out of stock, which means that the stock is getting smaller and smaller. And in a year from now, you're going to be wishing you had this. I promise you that. It's just like... Uh, just like Select last year, Select was so, so overproduced. Like, so many people had it uh, for sale. There was just, the hype just died down with Select. And by now, if you were to have anything Select, <laughs> you'd be a lucky man or woman. Henry Ruggs, Khalil Mack, Daniel Jones, Von Miller, Tyler Lockett, James Robinson, and Kirk Cousins. Uh, I think that this there's going to be a patch in here. I'm not 100% sure, so I put it towards the bottom. But I have yet to get an auto out of a blaster. I also have yet to get an auto out of a playoff blaster, so I'm hoping hoping today we get another auto. Although, I mean, we already got two, so. <laughs> but hopefully we get another auto, not just uh, patches. 
DeAndre Swift, George Kittle, Patrick Mahomes, Calvin Ridley, Justin Jefferson, Trey, er, Joe Mixon, and Josh Allen. Supernatural. JJ Watt, Devontae Parker, Joey B, T.Y. Hilton, Antonio Gibson, Derek Carr, Brett Favre, who else named after? Nice. Nice going to Green Bay. Baker Mayfield, Jalen Hurts, Aaron Jones, Rob Gronkowski, Allen Robinson, Kenny Galladay, Cameron Jordan. Corey Davis, TJ Hawkinson, Nick Boza, Tyree Kill, Hayden Hurst, Kirk Cousins, Tim Brown. And he adds a patch. I can feel it. LaVishka Chenault, Matt Ryan, Mike Kosecki, T. Higgins, Marcus May. Chase Young and JHA. Who is it? JHA. Justin Herbert? No. Jacob Harris. That's going to say why. <laughs> so that was my first guess. All right, Jacob Harris. Nice. Let's go to Rams. Who's got the Rams? I guess it would be JH. I don't know what it would be for Justin Herbert. Uh, Charles B. Charles. Charles has, um, I think Charles, oh yeah, Charles grabbed, grabbed the Rams. They didn't even sell. So, I also, I also hate to admit it, but more times than not, the teams that don't sell on eBay, I don't know why, but the teams that don't sell on eBay usually get all the good hits. I don't know why. Armin can back that up. Armin's in this break. Um, but yeah, uh, nice hit for, uh, Charles there. All right. So, uh, down to six, six of these. So after this, got four left. So push along and then I'm done with playoff. Besides, I've got probably about 50 packs I'll be throwing into breaks. But I remember when I bought all the playoff, I, I bought so much of it, and I, I had some people making fun of me. But now look at it. Can't buy it. Literally can't buy playoff anywhere. I don't even think, I don't think Target's, or not, Target definitely has never had playoff. Um, but uh, Walmart hasn't, I don't think Walmart has restocked playoff in a very long time. And the Megas, oh, I got so many of those, too. <laughs> the Megas were actually a very good deal with an auto. And the Contenders, I guess, with an auto and two patches. But, yeah, like what I said, I, I, I probably bought 30 of these uh, playoff blasters and have yet to get one auto, so... Hopefully today's the day that we get an auto out of Blaster. If not, got four left. So I'll be doing the same Zach break two more times. And hopefully, I mean, there's got to be one. I'm, get, I'm thinking one or two autos out of them, but I don't. I, I couldn't tell you. Chris Johnson. Joe Burrow, get a porter in the back. Derek Carr, Darna Mooney, Matt Ryan, Derek Slayton, Ernest Jones, and Trey McKitty. Wow, look at that, Trey McKitty. Maybe it's a Trey McKitty break. Chargers is a hot team. All right, so that is a patch. 
put that one at the bottom. Unfortunately, that's a patch out of this blaster. What the? Wait, is this a patch? No, that's not a patch. It seemed thick. Maybe the cards were stuck together. It seemed like... Yeah, I think that was the case. Uh, Jameson Crowder. Corlin Sutton. Dak Prescott. Robert Tanyan. Tyler Lockett. AJ Terrell. Uh, Racy McMath. And Travis Etienne. Recycle, Justin, Justin, what, <laughs> what's the, <laughs> did you mean to put that? <laughs> Try to think of what that's about. Two minutes ago, what was I saying two minutes ago? I don't know. Um, T.Y. Hilton, James White, Jeffrey Simmons, Lawrence Taylor, Tom Brady, Nick Boza, Odafe Owa, I don't know how to say his name, and Tony Romo. Another kid reporter. Ray Lewis. Tony Gonzalez. Juju. Dante Culpepper. Kenny Galladay. Alvin Kamara. Rashad Bateman. And Thunder and Lightning. This one is going to the Buccaneers. I think th what I heard is that these cards are actually error cards. It should say Thunder and Lightning. So what I heard. Um, otherwise, I don't know. Thunder and Lightning sounds pretty strange. So I don't. I couldn't tell you. But Devin Singletary. Just what I heard. Jonathan Taylor. Corey Davis. Joe Theismann. Chandler Jones, Devontae Adams, Andre Sisko, and Carson Wentz. Kareem Hunt, Phil Rivers, Carson Wentz, Russell Wilson, Hayden Hurst, Saquon, Nico Collins, Evan Ingram and Kid Reporter. So the patch is still there. I'm going to save that one for last. Along with either the next patch or auto, depending on what it is. We'll find out within a few minutes. Ooh, we got a red here. Nice. Hopefully, Kansas City. Hopefully, it's a rookie. James Robinson. Michael P. Ryan, John Elway, Andy Dalton, Matthew Safford, Robert Tanyan, Jalen Waddle, and Tyreek Hill. That's who I was. What is that? That's who actually I was thinking it was. Was Tyreek Hill? Here, show that again. I wish that these were numbered. I did open up some red ones that were numbered out of. Megas, but I don't know why they're not numbered out of blasters. So, anyways, moving on. It's a nice Jalen Waddle, Baker Mayfield, Justin Herbert, Randall Cobb, Tyler Lockett, AJ Terrell, Lawrence Taylor, Asante Samuel Jr. And Travis Etienne, is that, was that, was the last one in Travis Etienne too? Yeah, it was, so it's nice. Same duplicate. These, I think, came from the same case, so I noticed that not just playoff, but any, uh, any 
cards, packs, whatever from the same case typically have duplicates. Kendrick Porter, Jerry Judy. It's unfortunate, but ooh, red. Hopefully this is a numbered card. T. Higgins, Darren Waller, Tom Brady, Nick Boza, Dante Culpepper, Kalman will top load him, and Travis Kelsey. Darn it. But still an insert. So far, no, no patch. So hopefully that's a good sign that we got an auto somewhere. I'm fanning them out because in case it one is an auto, I don't want to spoil it. And also, um, I think out of playoff, I got um, Panini points once, and they put the points in backwards. So if that's the case, I don't want to spoil the code. Minka Fitzpatrick, Bruce Smith, Louis Chenault, Kenny, uh, Kenny Galladay, Alvin Kamara, Joe Theismann, Patrick Jones, and TJ Hawkinson. All these packs feel really thick. So maybe we do have an auto. I don't really know. They all feel... I have a hard time with this product, though. Playoff. The packs feel just about the same thickness, so I have a hard time. Quinn and Williams, Von Miller, Chad Johnson, Chandler Jones, Devontae Adams, Russell Wilson, Tylen Wallace, and Trey Lance. I'm top loading him. Wow, that's a nice card. I'm PCing Trey Lance. Oh, that's a patch. Okay. Um, out of Prism so far, I got, well, I just bought so much Prism, so honestly, there could be a lot of duplicate hits, but I got, uh, so far for the big hits, and I've probably only opened eight blasters of Prism, I got, uh, Trey Lance Laser, um, Trevor Lawrence Patch, and a Trevor Lawrence Silver, uh, Tyler Boyd, Henry Ruggs, J TJ Watts, Raheem Mostert, Patrick Peterson, Daniel Jones, Dwayne Eskridge. Why do I keep putting it in there? Uh, Tony Romo and Kitter Porter. All right, here we go with the two patches. Let's see who they are. Hopefully, that, that I didn't spoil it just now. Hopefully, you didn't see that. Marcus Allen, I don't think I didn't see it, so I don't think you did. Randy Moss, Drew Locke, Ooh. Hayden Hurst, Saquon, DeAndre Swift, Larry Rotre, and I'm on Ross St. Brown. This is going to Detroit. Who's got Detroit? Chad B. Chad. Once again, a team that didn't sell. Chad picked up Detroit. Nice hit. I hate to say it, but typically that's the reality of it. I mean, I've also had a, a lot of... I've also had people... A, a lot of my uh, breakers have had good luck with... Teams that they bought off of eBay. Like, I had a Najee Auto once out of a hobby. Uh, Trevor Lawrence had a five card, valued at $1,000. So, but it, I mean, I think that it's just because people don't, it, the hits are from teams that people don't, most of the hits are from teams that people don't really care about a whole lot. <laughs> Or that teams that just don't sell as much. Chase Claypool, uh, Tre'Davious White, Peyton Manning. I have noticed so Packers always sell. Cameron Jordan, Andy Dalton, Matthew Stafford. I don't know how to say his name. Irma Smith Marset, and let's see. Kyle Pitts going to Atlanta. Did Atlanta sell? I think Atlanta did sell. Let's go to Mitchell. Mitchell, a nice hit there. Nice hit there, Mitchell. So Kyle Pitts, 
patch. Keep that out because this next playbook mega will probably be a patch. Hopefully it's a playbook. Chris, how's it going? Nice. Um, it's going pretty good. Honestly, this break though, I mean, out of the two of the three packs, got autos, Trey McKitty. Um, Jaguars, I'm trying to think. There, I think there was just one Jaguars hit, to be honest, unfortunately. I know, I know that he had the Jags. I'm trying to remember what it was. You got that base Trevor. I'm sure you have a lot of those from me. Um, Travis Etienne. I think that was it. The Travis Etienne, white, red, white, and blue. Um, not a whole lot, to be honest, but we're, you, uh, if you're just tuning in, Chris, uh, we're doing the good stuff. And I have yet to get a playbook or an auto out of playbook. Well, I take that back. I got a playbook auto out of a hanger, but out of a mega, I've yet to get an auto and a playbook. So I'm really hoping for a play playbook. Um, so this is only my second ever Walmart mega I'm opening. Empty box there. Um, I've, I went through about... 20-ish Target ones, and now I'm on to my Walmart ones. How far through my? Uh, this is it. This is the Playbook Mega, and then the two Prism Blasters, and then I'm done. <clears throat> so, towards the, the end stretch here. Uh, Mike Evans, Tyron Matthew, AJ Dillon, Quadzilla, Joseph Asai, and Amon Ross St. Brown. That's right, still a chance, still a chance, although lately, Chris, it's been a lot of Trevor Lawrence hits, so if there's another Trevor Lawrence hit, it's got to be a laser, <coughs> maybe another patch. Uh, Levesque Chenault, wow, that's, oh, wow, that's a nice hit, Trey Lance, wow, I like that, I like that a lot. <coughs> Josh Allen, but um, Chris... I mean, if nothing else comes f out of this for you, um, Mac Jones still hasn't come out yet. Trey Sermon and Breeman Jordan, not one single Mac Jones. <clears throat> so I, well, come to think of it, I I got some Trevor Lawrence hits out of Prism. I got, ooh, is this an auto? Oh, I think we have an auto here. I think so. I know the autos are thicker stock, so well, like what I was saying, I, I have yet to get an auto out of a <clears throat> out of a mega. So this might be my first. Yeah, that's an auto. Saquon, JT, Chubb Hubbard, Sam Ellinger, and Joe Tyron something. Come on, Trevor. Hang right. Yeah, that's not a patch. That's an, that's an auto. Well, now I know what the autos are because um, I got one out of playbook. Or out of a hanger. Alan Kamara. Remember Smith Marset. Get so many of him. Ben Roethlisberger. Calvin Ridley. This is the third auto of the break. Washington. Man. Dex mine. Dax mine. Uh oh, this is going to Armin. Armin always takes the um Washington. Washington is Armin's team and Seattle. Chad, Chad, you got a hit. You got you got a I th you got a patch, I know. You got a couple hits, I think. This is going to Armin. Washington is always Armin's team. I don't know why Armin likes Washington, but Armin always takes not just Washington and Seattle, but just about any team 
I need. There's a few others that, um, like Chad. Chad recently has been taking teams. Chuck just got back into it. Uh, Kenny, he's not in this break, but I have a lot of guys here that will take the leftover teams. And Washington almost never sells. Uh, Chad, um, out of here, I'll, I'll just show you the the main hit so far. So these are the thin cards. Chad, I'll tell you which teams you got here. Um, you got cards, Ravens, Lions, Texans, and Eagles. So here we go. Uh, two Trey Lance hits there. Kellen Mond, Jalen Waddle, Ian Book, Prima Jordan. These are the bigger, or not really the bigger, but the thicker stock cards. Tyler Vons, Quiddy Pay, Travis Etienne, Tessa Campbell, Terrence Marshall, uh, some pace, Kyle Hill, Jamar Chase, Terrence Marshall Jr., Justin Fields. And we got two autos out of um, the packs. Aaron Robinson, Trey McKitty, <laughs> Jacob Harris. I think you got the Lions, so you got this. I'm on Ra. Kyle Pitts, and just got this Dax, whatever his name is. And finishing off with Prism, let's see which ones I grabbed. I grabbed two laser ones. So laser, I think, sell for more than the disco because laser, it costs more money to get these lasers from Walmart. So I think that the lasers sell for more than, than the discos, but... Um, I just grabbed these at random. <laughs> I just have so many of these. So many. Empty box. Oh, Tyson Campbell. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a hit. Yeah, I forgot I forgot about that. He's on the he's on the Jags. I forgot about that, yeah. We got silver. It's going to LA. Uh Janu Smith. Barry. Jalen Ramsey and Najee Harris. That's new recruits. Corey Davis, Adrian Amos, Chase Claypool, and Nick Boza. DJ Chark, Deuce McAllister, Devonta Smith, and Aaron Rodgers going to my pack. Nice. That's a nice hit for Packers. Times like that where I wish I took my Packers in my break, but I'm glad that you guys get the hits. Sharing the love. Uh, we got three packs left. Still have yet to get the our laser rookie. So Matthew Safford, Jerry Judy, Blake Martinez. First rookie is Rashawn Slater. We need a big name after that name, jeez. <laughs> Rakia Sin, love that name. Luke Keekley. Larry Rotray. Jeez, Chargers are on top of it. And let's see this is the rookie. Caleb Caleb Farley. Jeez. <laughs> Good hit for Tennessee, but who's got Tennessee? Tennessee also didn't sell. That's Chuck. Chuck got Tennessee. Our last pack of this blaster. David Carr. Uh, Nick Chubb. Javante and Brian Burns.
Alright, Armin wants the packs as usual. Avalanche. And then Aaron Rodgers. Oh, that's a nice card. So this one also came from Walmart. It's got the lasers. Lasers are... I, mean, I don't know. They both are just about as equally desired, I guess. But lasers are probably worth more just because these boxes cost 35 whereas targets cost 30 And empty box. No patch. I don't think a patch out of this blaster, which is shocking because um, for the last three breaks, I've been getting a patch out of every break. Uh, Brashad Pierman? I don't even never heard of him. Mari Cooper. Ian Book, silver quarterback. Nice hit going to Saints. Who's got the Saints? Saints also didn't sell. Chuck. Man. And Tua. Nice. Man, oh man. That's usually how it is, like what I said. <laughs> I I was telling you guys, the teams that don't sell, the, that's where all the hits are at. Melvin Gordon, Kurt Warner. I uh, don't know how to say his name. And Gary Brightwell, going to the Giants. Now, that doesn't mean don't, obviously don't, not get teams, or don't let a team... Wait, this might be a patch. Don't let a team just sit there. Get a team if you... Oh, that, that is a patch. Never mind. Okay, we'll save that for less. Um, get a team if you want it in a break, but more t times than not, from my own a anecdotal experience. Chargers. Uh, Kenneth Murray. Robert Woods. Terry's Tattoo Etwell. And Anthony Miller. That's just what happens. I don't know. Luck of the draw, I guess. Josh Allen. Hayden Hurst. Havon Kierce. Sean Alexander. Got two packs left. I'm going to guess that this one has Suruki. The next one has a patch. And then done. Done with the break. Ooh, Jacksonville. Wouldn't that be something? Another Trevor Lawrence hit. Randy Moss, Drew Sample, and it is a rookie, so let's see. Travis at the end. Oh, man. Oh, man. Chris, I bet, I bet you were, you were hoping for that. Still going in the top load. Still a nice hit, but <laughs> I don't know if you got the silver one off of me, Chris, but... Literally, last break, you got the, the patch. The break before that, it was the silver. And I was like, what the? <laughs> Still, nice hit going to you. If you think about it, this break, there's only four, four, rookie, um, four rookie lasers, and you got one of them. Travis Kelsey. Frank Darby, J.K. Dobbins, and Pittsburgh. This is a patch for Pitts. PJ22. Pat Fearmuth. Pat Fearmuth. This is a patch here. Yeah, I mean, Chris. Yeah, you getting still getting hits, regardless. I noticed that Jacksonville, whether you get Trevor Lawrence or not, Jacksonville typically gets a lot of hits. So, 
they're not a bad team to scoop up anyways. But that is the break. Thank you all once again. Uh, like what I said, I've I have a Saint, I have a break tomorrow. That's ending today. If you get teams for that, send me a message. Don't pay until I send you an invoice. Um, and then we'll get that all squared away. I'll post the left leftover teams for that break uh, today. How much basketball did I order, Chad? I got 18 Prism Blasters I ordered. <laughs> um, <coughs> I need a lot of good products for uh, basketball to get rid of all the lesser product that I have, which is a lot, unfortunately. Um, but once I'm done with basketball, once I get rid of... Oh, he's a rookie. He's getting saved. Once I'm done with basketball, I'm never going to break basketball again, I don't think. Um, just not that interesting to me. Um, I'm, I'm basically stepping away from, uh, MLB. Are they out of stock, Chad? I think you could, well, if you can, I think you can order some more. They don't cancel. They started canceling, though, after I ordered 18. But then I, I think I got, like, 9 or 12 Chronicles Blasters. And I was like, oh, those are gonna be in stock for days. No, chronic that that those Chronicles blasters last in like I don't know, a few hours, an hour or two at tops. So I'll be doing some Chronicles eventually. But yeah, um, first in, first out. So getting rid of all the all the lesser stuff, I guess, and two hits. You never would have thought two hits out of Prism Draft Picks packs, but that's what happened. I got Basketball Prism to resell later on eBay, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, Chad, I don't want to say this because I don't want any more competition, but if you, if you got 12, do, do, do a break, man. I don't know if you've ever done a break before, but try, try, it, try it out. You could do a break, 12. Times thirty, that's what like three hundred bucks. Maybe maybe do like nine blasters or eight blasters. Do a break, you'll probably make fifty, fifty bucks or so. But it's a lot more fun than just reselling, because I could take this all and resell it. But what's the fun in that? I'd much rather have it go to people, um, and then I could see what I could have missed out on, like a Trey McKitty auto, or an Allen Robinson. Auto. Aaron Rob, I don't know, Aaron Robinson, so, you just need supplies, and it costs a lot of money, but it pays itself off, and it's also very fun, um, but yeah, I mean, e even Trey McKitty, oh, we got a, we got a few Trey McKitties, actually, let's see, I think we got another Trey McKitty, Trey McKitty is on the Chargers. He's probably one of the better names that I've got out of a college uh, product. Where is it? There's a Trey McKitty somewhere. Trey McKitty. So he, he is this guy. Probably one of the better. I mean, I, I still haven't heard of him, but... He's still at, he's in a lot of other product, and this guy he's on the Giants. So. So yeah. I don't know. Uh, I I'd say my suggestion is Chad try out doing a break. It's fun. Um, you can see what you miss out on. Likely most of, most of my breaks are like this where. They're nothing spectacular. Some people got a lot of, like, ch whoever had the Chargers got a heyday. Um, it's fun, but otherwise you can resell it all. I mean, I'm sure you could get, I don't know, I'd probably avoid selling it on eBay, but if you sold it off of eBay by then, they'll probably, you could probably get, like, 40, 50, 45, 50 of blasters, so you could probably make, like, 150, 200 bucks. Use that to do breaks with or something, I don't know. <laughs> or just 
use it to buy your own. So yeah, uh, that's the break. Like what I said, I got teams ending tonight. I think around six. So, um, yeah, I won't be. I would ship these out right away, but I won't get to it until afterwards. Cause if anyone takes teams for my break tomorrow, then I'll just combine shipping. So, um, Chad, no, you did not tell me on a spin wheel for a trading card break, a spin wheel. I've seen people do spin wheels for helmet breaks, but here I'll I'll, I'll top load it uh, some of these cards while while you tell me. <clears throat> I know a spin wheel like for trade or for helmet breaks, the helmet breaks that I've been part of. One of one. Uh, wow, dang. I guess a spin wheel and a break or a spin wheel. I know Panini has a spin wheel. Open and cased on the wheel. There were cards. Oh, nice. Dang. How, do, how does this, how does the wheel work? I would, I would get into doing something like that, like a wheel. But as you as you guys know, I let you guys bid up. Um, oh, it's TikTok. I you know, as as you know, I let you guys bid up. Um, uh, teams to whatever you think is fair, and Chad, as you just experienced, I I sell the leftovers for cheap, the ones that don't sell. So. You got a good deal on those leftover teams. A few, of, a few of you also did too. But when I do deals like that, it doesn't quite give me enough wiggle room to do giveaways because I also have to accommodate for... Sometimes there's a loss, like if cards get damaged or lost, which rarely happens. It's a... Uh, online oh it's an online wheel oh here <coughs> I'll, I'll show you I don't, I don't know if I've really shown anyone um, let's just do crazy um, there's a few other helmet brakes I don't know if anyone's familiar with helmet brakes but they're a lot more expensive but you can if you're into helmets I participate in some every now and then um, especially there's a cool pack helmet, but let's see, where is it? Oh, that's my post. This is where you can rise stuff off. Some Packers game worn stuff. I buy game worn stuff straight from the Packers. I, I don't think I mentioned that in this break. Where is it? Oh, it's, it's down here. That was from this last weekend. I gotta scroll a bit. Man. Oh, yeah, people razz off trading cards. I sometimes do that. Not always. I prefer to just do breaks. Alright, I'm just gonna look them up. So, Corey is the one in this group. It's called Crazy. So he, he does live, like you pay 11 spots at 154, he opens two boxes, it can be anything, let's see what this guy won, so this guy won 400 credit, and this guy won a Jamar Chase helmet for 11 at 151, so he paid 151 bucks and he won this. Everyone else obviously lost money, but uh, let's see who won it. Jamar Chase, Sean Williams, he got one spot, paid 151 bucks, and won this. 
This helmet probably you could resell it for twelve hundred, fifteen hundred bucks at least today. So this is helmet brakes. I don't know if anyone's familiar with helmet brakes. And then they do wheels. Let's see if I can find a wheel real quick. So they, they do a wheel where if you don't want your helmet, let's say you get a, a lesser product, then you can spin the wheel, can win credit or something. So <laughs> a little a little something there if you're interested, Chad, or if anyone's interested really. It's a lot more expensive than trading card brakes, but you can win some sweet helmets. And I've I've won some sweet helmets. I can say that. Um, I've also I haven't done it a lot, but a lot of I I won a Joe Montana. I won a Brett Favre. I won a Randall Cobb. I won I won an Eli Manning the other day, but I actually traded that for someone for Aaron Rodgers, and they're doing cash too. But um. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Join it if you want. There's a few other rooms, break rooms I can send you. If anyone's interested, just send me a message. So that's that's the wheel that I was thinking about. <laughs> like a wheel like that. So anyways, uh, Chad, um, I'm going to end the video. I'll post my leftover teams for tonight or for tomorrow's break tonight. Um, I'm probably gonna be painting at the house that I'm getting. Um, but yeah, if if you're interested, Chad or anyone, send me a Facebook message, and I'll send you the link to join some cool uh, break rooms for helmets. You can win some helmets for cheap if you want. Um, I wouldn't recommend. I'd recommend setting a limit. If you join those groups, setting a limit. Like 100, 200 bucks a week. You might win once. Uh, might take you a while to win. You might win off the bat. But um, <laughs> I notice that typically the guys that have the best luck are actually the guys who take multiple spots. and Or who might play a lot in a specific break. And typically the guys that take one spot a week, they might hit once a year. <laughs> but that their one hit that they get is it might be like a Tom Brady flex, which is like a two two, three thousand dollar helmet. So anyways, I'm gonna end the video. I'm gonna finish top loading these after I get done. I'll end the video if no one else comments. But that is the break. Got three more cards to top load. Or if you're just watching this and interested in joining those groups. I'll actually put them on the screen before I end the video real quick. <laughs> Alright, one of them is called Crazy C R A Z Z Y. Another one and I'm actually a moderator in this one, is the Ozark Mafia. This is a good one. You can win some other stuff too, grills. So anyways, that's, that's the break. Thank you all once again, and have a good day.